Hello everyone, this is Animation 4 and I have a pretty interesting MC Edit filter to show you. So you can see on the side it says my test value is 42. And I'm going to step on this pressure plate and it's going to say your test score is 42. If I now set my test score to say 93, step on the pressure plate, it says your test score is 93. So you may be wondering, oh that's easy, you can just do stuff in like one command block and it's that's all you need. No, this is what you need. You need an individual test for every value. And this took me probably 30, 30 seconds with the new filter. And I'm about to repeat it right here. So what this filter does is it goes to command blocks and it inserts values. Then that's pretty much it. Uh, wherever you tell it to, so you can use MC Edit to copy and paste the same thing over and over again, then run the filter to insert the values for you, and you'll be left saving a lot of time. So, I have these command box here, and they don't exactly make sense what's on the inside. Test 4 at a score test min equals at Z. Score test equals at Z, and up here, your test score is at Z. So, the at Z is what the filter uses to control the values you put in and it's the Z direction that's what this stretch is in so use that Z and it'll go through and it'll modify the Z value as Z changes so let's hop over into MC edit right now and we will copy this structure down actually I'll just do that so I'm basically gonna take this and clone it all the way down so we have a bunch of these command blocks and repeaters in the middle to transfer the signal so now we've got that one by one structure clone, which is this thing. So now we have a bunch of test for at Z's. And let's take a, I'll just use a button. Button and put it on. And nothing happens because Z isn't a number. So now you could really, really quickly run this filter on it and with the simplicity of what we're doing it really easy so let's go do that now so here we are MC Edit is just op just loading up so all we're gonna do is select all the command blocks select the filter command value entry now you can see this at X at Y and at Z we don't have any at X or at Y. You could uncheck these if you want, but it doesn't make a difference. We're focused on the at Z. It starts at 0. You can have it start at wherever you want. Say, we don't want a test value of 0. Let's start at 1. And the step is 1. Now, if you noticed, as we went this way, from where the blue is to where the yellow is, that's positive Z direction. So we'll go from 0 up to 120, I think it is. We could change this to negative 1, start at 120, and that'd do it in reverse. And that'd be if this structure was stretching this way, you could have it go the other way. But we just want it to go start at 1, up by 1, and unused Z values. This is something we want to pay attention to here. Notice we have repeaters. So what this is, is it notices there's no command block here. And it doesn't continue the trend so you could either skip you can skip the z value here so it go 1 2 3 4 all the way up to 16 17 18 so it would skip 17 or you can go to shift and it push 17 down this one would become 17 this one would become 18 so we're going to shift and we're going to run the filter it'll take a little while but not too long we save and let's take a look at what it did. So here we are, and as you can see, score test min equals 1, and your test score is 1. Oh, I messed up that. <laughs> one second. Okay, I just had to fix the end braces here instead of the quote. But it entered all the values. You can see, it goes up to 15, then right over to 16, so it's shifted everything down instead of skipping. And it's the same thing that happens over here. It goes to 14 because we started at 0. So now if I hit this button, your test score is 93. 
so that worked and it did not take much time at all. But there's another way you can use this, because you don't have to just do test scores. You can do, say, set block. You can set block there, there, and I want to say, hmm. Let's look at what else you can do with this filter, actually. Because you don't just have to do at Z, you can do, you, can't, you can use it in with tildes in front. I want to do at, what direction is this? That is going in negative x. So let's do at x squared. And then two. Okay. So what do you think is gonna happen? Well first we're gonna copy this and paste it down a little bit. And then I'll be right back once that happens. Okay, so all I did was copy it down nine times. And now we're going to go into filter. We're going to go into command value entry. And do we have a Z? We don't have a Z. Did I enter the wrong thing? I feel like I did. One second. Nope, it's all good. So we're just modifying X. And we want... There's ten things here. So let's say this one's the middle. This is increasing x, and let's say x starts at 5, it goes down by 1 each time. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, and this you don't have to worry about because it goes straight through. So let's hit filter, let's save, oh, didn't exit Minecraft, so run it again save and now let's take a look so here we are back in and you can see 16 9 all perfect squares so check out what happens when we do this we get a graph of x squared pretty darn cool so yeah you can do powers but that's not all. Let's do a more complicated one. We'll do set block. And we will do at. Let's say. Two. No. Three. X. Three times X. the third over five and this will do integer division plus one I don't know what that looks like but we will find out Here, two redstone block and let's copy this and of course by copy I mean clone so we'll make nine of them total and now it's filter uh, command value entry so the same thing we did before start at negative four and oh sorry let's start at four we're down by one because we're missing the one at the end which was five and it doesn't matter just X, filter, save, and let's take a look. I don't like the equation I put in. I'm getting values in the hundreds, and I think we're just going to get something weird. We got, well, you can kind of see the graph. If you were to dig down here, you'd probably see it a little, a little bit more. But, that's the other one. But yeah, there's a curve. Goes up really fast because the way this works is I had x three times x to the power of three plus six. That doesn't work like 
the way you'd think you normally do math. It does sequential and doesn't exactly follow the order of operations. So this would be 3 times x, and this would calculate it like this, 3 times x quantity cubed. If you wanted to do 3 times x cubed, you could put parentheses here, and that would give you that. If you were to put the 6 in front, then you get something very different because you get 6 plus 3, then times x, then cubed. So that would be, in the end, you'd have 9, so it would be, I can't, 720 something x cubed as opposed to 6 plus 3x cubed. So use parentheses when you need it. Definitely use it. Otherwise, you might not get what you expected. But that's basically how this thing works. It's really helpful when you need it. So it saves you a lot of trouble of entering lots of rep repetitive values. And it also works in two dimensions. So you can do at x at y or at x zero at y or more like this so you can change a vertical structure like this to a horizontal structure and it's a lot harder to use in three dimensions because of how the way the shift works and what it does is basically this com this command block its value is 15 what it did is it looked through it looked all the way down the Z direction for command blocks, just straight down that line, and it found 14 in front of it, so it became 15. This one found 15, so it became 16. This one found 16, so it became 17. But if this command block was over here, this one would be 1, and this would be 16. So you gotta be careful about that stuff, and I just messed this whole thing up. But it saves you from having to do lots of stuff like that going all the way down. Otherwise, this would have taken like an hour of just hard command value entry. Wow, that's a tall graph. It shows you, you can see the graph though. It's a really, really tall curve. But yeah, it can use equations, multi dimensional, different steps. When you need it, it'll be really helpful. And I hope it is. That's about it. Thanks for watching.